Alright guys, it's KC's Nation again, so uh, today I have a little something different and a little off the beaten path, I guess you will. It's fishing stuff. Yep, that's right. We have trolling motors here. Vintage trolling motors. Vintage in the word meaning I have no idea what, where and when these were made. All I know is they were made in a time when things were made in America and things were meant, made and meant and built to last. So, uh, start with the first one, the littlest one. It's a Minn Kota 15. And a matter of fact, no, I thought I was going to have one of those little, you know how they put the little plastic things over top, top of shiny things? But, I guess not. That's me being curious. But, uh, yeah, this little motor right here is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it's all complete and whatnot. It has three different settings off. Actually, it has four. It has forward and forward, off and reverse, and then it has three different speed settings: three, two, one, and then off. And that sticker there's coming a little, coming off a little bit. I don't think the camera can pick that up, but yeah, we uh, actually used both of these. Uh, before I start rambling, let me get into the next one. This one here, the bad boy, is a Game Fisher electric fishing motor. It's made by Sears and Roebuck Company, and uh, it's just got a lot of cool stuff on it. Uh, it's got a light switch, it's got a battery meter, and it's got a speed dial, just like that one. It's just on, up top here, and it's got reverse and forward. And uh, yeah, they've got relatively sturdy construction. I don't even, I don't think, I'm not 100% sure if this uh, particular mount came with this um, trolling motor but uh, from the factory but it, that's how it was when I got it uh, but it works perfectly you raise and lower it there's a little spring loaded thing here right now I've got it um, loose because it's a pain in the butt to move on this one this one's a little bit more modern design you just pull it up and it has a bunch of different settings and that uh, tilts down I didn't have a thing to stand these things up on so I used my recycling bin hope it doesn't uh, break anything but yeah let's hook these things up to the car and I'll show you I'm working let's we'll start with the Minn Kota 15 first make sure it's off all right everything's off all right, positive let's see I think you're supposed to hook the positive up the positive up first regardless Pick, you hook that up first then you hook up the negative. If it'll fit. Alright. Now that they're hooked up, we can test this bad boy. You're not supposed to test these things out of water. Um, but I'm gonna because that's just because these motors heat up. As long as you don't run them for two or three minutes, you're not gonna have an issue. The reason why they say that is because when you put it in the water, it cools the motor. And it's just, it's kind of like a lawnmower. Well, no, it's not. It's like a boat motor. You're supposed to run it in water or it'll heat up and die. Um, same principle, but for this test sake, it's not going to hurt. So uh, basically, we're going to put it in forward and we're going to turn the dial to one. As you can see, it's running. Two. And then there's three. This one doesn't have a whole lot of power, but when you use these two together, you use this one for steering. And off, and then reverse works just the same. And uh, pretty much it for the Minn Kota 15. So uh, let's unhook it and hook up the bad boy Game Fisher. This joker here will drain a battery, by the way, also, because it just is that more bad. And I don't think it's going to reach over here, either. Alright, come on, man. Give me some slack. I might have to move the little trash can over. Alright, so we got uh, positive and negative. And on this particular model, this one was made for going up front. Well, actually, most both of these, though, I think someone has repositioned the motors. Because if you're going to put these up front, 
then the motors need to be faced the other way, the opposite of the handle. Or they need to be faced in the same direction of the handle, and these are the opposite. So these were made or repositioned so they will work on the back of a boat, which that's what we did and used them for. On this thing here, we had a little bit of a problem with this dial uh, since it's so old. Uh, we had a little bit of gray smoke coming out of it because it just didn't have a really good contact. Uh, hopefully we won't have that right now. If we do, you'll get to see something interesting on the video for once. But yeah, it has a light. Lights up and fanciness. My buddy was like, you know, if we get stuck on this lake in the middle of the night, we ain't gonna have no light. I said, wrong. <laughs> All right. Quit playing. All right, so we're gonna turn. I'm just gonna leave this where it's at. It's right on, I guess, 25. I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't go kicking. But as you can see, it's working just as well. Yeah, this dial is messed up. I just turned it and it stopped. That's because I need to figure out a way to replace it. But yeah, it forward works and. Reverse works. This bad boy here uh, put some good speed on it. Now to gather these jokers, they push all right. They'll push three people around in a lake decently. Um, we learned towards the end of our trip though, we can just let this one run straight and use this one to turn. That way you don't have to end up turning left and right, two, turning two of them at the same time. Makes it a little harder, to, a little easier on the rider. That's it for trolling motors. Uh, the Minn Kota 15 and the Game Fisher made by Sears. This has been Casey's Nation. I uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you on the flip side.